Hey everyone, I'm going to talk about the Common Ground World Competition happening on January 16, 2024, which features the Cup of Coffee meta, which is a brand new item that's been introduced to the game, along with a few other items required to craft the Cup of Coffee. So first, I'm going to explain how to actually craft this new item. Then we'll take a look at the official details in the Gala Games Discord. And then I will explain this build showcase that I have prepared to show you how to create an efficient cup of coffee design. The cup of coffee is crafted in a new building called the Cafe, and it requires five coffee beans, one sugar, one milk, one water, and one ceramic mug in order to craft. It takes 3 minutes and 20 seconds in order to craft the cup of coffee and it is currently the only craft available in the cafe as of recording this video. Now this requires two new items beginning with coffee beans. Coffee beans are crafted by a coffee plant and it takes 6 minutes to craft on the fastest craft timer and requires 7 water in order to grow. So preferably you want the 7 water to be passive that way you don't have to manually supply water using a well or a wind pump since that is not an efficient way to grow these crops. So the coffee plant is negatively impacted by shade, dirty, and salty so you want to keep it away from all of that. And the other new item is the ceramic mug. The ceramic mug is crafted in the pottery shop and requires three clay lumps, one chromium, one water drum, and two energy in order to craft. The pottery shop is negatively impacted by dirty so it is preferred that you use a nuclear power plant in order to provide the passive energy to the pottery shop without casting any dirty on it as if you were to use a power plant that would cast dirty and energy so it's not recommended for the pottery shops on the fastest craft timer the ceramic mug takes three minutes to craft if you would have had three dirty on it it would have taken 24 minutes in order to craft which is not efficient at all that's why you want to have it away from any dirty now the energy you do preferably want it to be passive that's why i recommend making the nuclear power the alternative is to make a wind turbine in order to manually supply energy to it this is cheaper overall but not as efficient you're not going to get a good enough production rate to be as competitive as you could be and you also want to have water pumps in order to provide passive water drums to the pottery shops that is a bit more efficient. Now the other two items are milk which is gotten from the milk barns and sugar which is gotten from windmills which also requires sugarcane fields to get the sugarcane. Cup of coffee also requires one water. This is preferred that you use passive water in order to accomplish this. See all of these buildings have at least one passive water from the river on this side. We also have one passive water over here from the ponds we have there so hopefully that explains everything you need to know about how to craft the cup of coffee so now we're going to take a look at the official details on the galley games discord so the competition is called best brew in town starts january 16 2024 ends three days later meta is to sell the cups of coffee the biome is a plains biome facing north and all the other edges east southwest are all rivers so we are given three rivers to work with so there's plenty of passive water for the coffee plants since they require a lot of water which is a good thing now there is a disadvantage here and that is for the mines you are going to want shallow mines in order to make chromium in order to make the ceramic mugs so you're really only going to have space for six shallow mines that are not negatively impacted by water because in case you don't remember they are negatively impacted by water so yeah you could only have six shallow mines on a green craft timer you could make another two that are negatively impacted by one water they're just not going to be as efficient you are kind of limited by the amount of chromium you can make because of the three rivers so it's kind of a positive and a negative so the standard trade time is 80 seconds and it only costs one gasoline if the build is balanced enough you can get by just fine with one trade depot but if it's not you will probably need two trade depots it just depends on how balanced you make the design and the rewards are the standard gala rewards for reaching top 1200 there are two cash boosts milk is boosted to 9,000 each which is very good and copper is is cash boosted to 5400 each 
of course, cup of coffee is boosted to 100,000 stars each. And the cup of coffee's cash is actually changed for this competition. Normally, it gives 22,000 cash each, but for this competition, it has been reduced to 11,000 cash each. So depending on the way you make your design, your build might actually be cash negative. And I'm going to talk more about that later in the video. Now, they didn't provide us with a picture of the starting biome, but you actually do start off with two milk barns and plenty of meadows since it's a plains biome. So you can immediately get started with milk production. And that is what I recommend for the cash rush. Stick to milk production. It's probably better than gold production this time around. And copper usually isn't even worth it. Like if we only had the option to do copper here, say if only copper was cash boosted and milk wasn't cash boosted, you'd probably be better off doing gold. But since milk is cash boosted fairly well here, I do recommend that you sell milk to get all the cash you need until you get to your finished design, preferably since selling cups of coffee is not going to net you that much money. So that pretty much explains all the details here. And as usual, I also have the competition reward information on the Town Star playbook. Link is in the description of the video. As you can see, standard gala rewards means top 1200 will receive gala the better you place the more gala you receive and you can also see the usd equivalent of the gala prize there is no nft reward for this competition now we'll take a look at my cup of coffee build showcase so this build is doing 119 cups of coffee per hour which i think is very good for a no nft required design and probably the most you could get without adding nfts you might not be able to improve this much much further because of the chromium rates it can definitely be improved i know it can be improved but it's going to be harder to push it much more past this just because of the chromium now i am going to scroll through the projection monitor here and i'll mention some of the stuff going on here so sugar and milk needs to be at least 119 here so that's correct lumber needs to be 119 which it just about exactly is that means we'll be able to get at least 119 chromium which means we can get 119 ceramic mugs as long as we also have about 360 clay which is easy enough to do and we would be using in this case 595 coffee beans but we're pretty much making 600 this is really closer to 100 20 cups of coffee per hour it's just kind of hard to exactly expect that rate so i'm just gonna say it's 119 cups of coffee per hour but yeah that's pretty much everything you need to know there we do have the water drums which you would need at least 238 in order to get the chromium you need for these cups of coffee this build is slightly cash negative but it can be easily turned to cash neutral or cash positive if you find a way to produce a bit more milk that way you can sell the excess milk for extra cash there's a total of 12 tree farms seven are on a green craft timer and the other five are on a yellow or red craft timer four sugar cane fields three are on a green craft timer one is on yellow 63 coffee plants only two of them are on a yellow craft timer the all the other ones are on a green craft timer and three clay fields for the livestock there are four milk barns and have the milk barns facing the meadows like so and there's a total of 20 meadows for the windmills there are a total of seven windmills six are on a red craft timer and one is on a green craft timer over here because it doesn't have any shade casted on it because of the way I set up the milk barns. And of course, they are all crafting sugar. There are three water facilities with the three passive water they need in order to craft water drums, which are deposited in this warehouse and used to craft chromium using the six shallow mines we have here. All these six shallow mines making chromium have the passive energy that they need from the four power plants that have been built here. There's also one lumber mill making lumber in order to get the lumber necessary to craft the chromium there's one nuclear power which provides the passive energy necessary for the pottery shops to make the ceramic mugs and there are a total of eight pottery shops here making the ceramic mugs then we got 11 cafes all making the cups of coffee there is a nuclear power which provides passive energy without casting dirty on the pottery shops and there are eight pottery shops crafting ceramic mugs and there 
are 11 cafes, all of which are crafting the cup of coffee. For the workers, there are five loggers, four tractors, two forklifts, a builder, and an ATV over here. Now for the loggers and tractors, it's kind of hard to find the exact balance of how many that you need because you could either be in a position where it feels like they're going to sleep and if you get rid of one of each, then it feels like you don't have enough. You're better off having one too many than one not enough or otherwise you're just not going to get all the items that you need in order to make everything right so in this situation it's fine that they occasionally go to sleep but if you can manage to find a way to make it where they never go to sleep that would of course be more efficient for the storages there are two storehouses which stores the cup of coffee there's one silo which stores the coffee beans there are two warehouses which can store the ceramic mug there is a lumber yard for your lumber and of course fuel storage for your gasoline for the gasoline production i have this refinery making gasoline and this refinery making petroleum they do have the passive water drums and passive energy that they need in order to get the crude oil it is crafted from the four oil pumps over here this seems to give more than enough crude oil also i am using two trade depot but like i mentioned before you could could get by with just one tray depot if it is well balanced enough i think that for the most part this design right here it will work with one tray depot but i had extra space so i ended up making two of them just in case that's pretty much all the buildings but as you notice i have an empty spot right there and another empty spot right here so you have some space for possibly improving this if you were to improve it you would probably have to end up making another shallow mine here or here and then it's not going to have the full passive energy that it needs for chromium which is three energy so you're either going to need to manually make energy which you could easily do with the nuclear power but then that means you're going to have to auto sell energy just in case so yeah that's a whole another ordeal there there is possibility to improve this it's just that you just have to keep pushing it and finding out how to do so for auto trade you want almost everything at 10 with the exception of coffee beans and sugar cane you can have those at 12 you don't need to auto trade gasoline or lumber or energy unless you are manually making energy if you are manually making energy then yes do add it to auto trade here is what the build looks like on the visualizer so disclaimer as of recording this video anyways the build cost and wages on the visualizer is not correct so i'm going to explain those values to you you. so you can expect to pay 25 million cash in order to complete this build with the exception of the steel mill that you're going to need to make in order to get the steel for the nuclear power so probably closer to 27 million just to be safe and of course with enchanted ornaments this is 25 percent cheaper so it's maybe closer to 20 million wages are 24,000 per minute and with enchanted ornaments it's closer to 19,000 per minute you can find the file for this on my discord server and an invite link to my discord servers in the description of the video no nfts are required for this production rate but i will talk about the ones that will help you the most as usual miranda skins and enchanted ornaments enchanted ornaments could actually be the difference between this being cash negative or being cash neutral or cash positive in this case it is the difference for me because i have enchanted ornaments i cannot unapply them so this builds actually cash positive if i did not have enchanted ornaments it would be cash negative and like i mentioned that the beginning of the video if that's the case i do recommend you find a way to maybe add another milk barn and get the milk production to 140 that way you will sell 20 excess milk per hour that alone should be everything you need in order to be cash neutral so long as you're still making 119 cups a coffee per hour or better now if you are making more cups of coffee than that then that will probably be all you need you should be cash neutral or cash positive by increasing the cup of coffee production rate so long as you don't need too many buildings because if you add another cafe that's another thousand per minute on your wages um that's one of the reasons the wages are so high it's because of all the cafes you need to make next are the effect cards such as great woodlands ghost card to increase the wood production 
production rates. Guided blades will help a lot with the lumber mill. Otherwise, you may need to run two lumber mills, but you will probably want the second lumber mill to not have passive water drum. So if that's the case, if you really need to do that, you could put a lumber mill right here. But yeah, if you have the guided blades ghost card, it can help you reach the right amount of lumber if you are not making enough. Greasy wheels is actually huge here because that can make the difference between being stuck at around 120 cups of coffee per hour to allowing you to reach a higher rate like 150 or 160 with the same amount of mines because of the chromium because you can't have any more shadow mines on the green craft timer than this so greasy wheels can make a big difference to your design here gilded barns can help you out with the milk production rates although it's not that huge of an advantage same thing with the gusty winds and hasty windmill effect cards which will help you with the sugar production rates not that huge since not a lot of sugar and not a lot of milk is used for this setup but it still helps the graded ceramics card does help out a lot by allowing you to make more more mugs if you happen to have the greasy wheels to get more chromium you probably also want to have the graded ceramics to actually craft more mugs with the same setup otherwise you're going to need to find a way to add more pottery shops express depot might actually save you a spot here because as i mentioned earlier you should be fine with one trade depot but in some cases you'll sell multiple items at the same time if you just use one express depot or even an express pier if you have it next to the river then you should be just fine with just that one vehicle to do all your trades now, of course, there's a lot of NFTs out there that can help you out, but I just mentioned some basic ones that I do think are helpful. I think this cup of coffee production is easy, like it shouldn't be too complicated to figure it out. It's somewhat expensive, like it's not the cheapest thing, right? You need 25 million for this design because I'm using the nuclear power. And even if you were not using the nuclear power, you would still need about 14 million to 16 million depending on the design it wouldn't be as efficient so it might not even be cash positive but i knew that having the nuclear power here would be more efficient so i wanted to do the build showcase that way that's all I have for the build showcase, so I hope this helps you create a design or improve your current design. If you found this helpful or informative, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing if you haven't done so. There's links in the description of the video if you wish to support the channel. And as always, I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.